Hey ladies, welcome back to my last makeup tutorial of 2020. Now I know a lot of us are so happy to be jumping into 2021 and I have some new launches that I'm going to be sharing in this video. So it's really exciting for me because I love working with new makeup. I love creating new products for you and I wanted to bring out products in this makeup tutorial that really represented us in 2020. And I have been fierce with my showing up on YouTube for you. I have been unapologetic about a lot of different things about my beauty. As you know, I do a lot of call outs when people say things about my eyebrows. I am showing up as my natural self. And if that makes people uncomfortable and they feel like tearing me down for it, so be it. Because I will always keep showing up and I will always be unapologetic about it. And I will always celebrate my age, the way I look, celebrate my gray hair. And if it's different and people don't like it, guess what? They have to deal with that. And I'm also coming up bold, right? This whole year has been about really what's on my boxes. When you receive a box from my cosmetic company, Nicole Cosmetics, it's fierce, it's bold, it's authentic, it's let's get this beauty started. That has been my entire year. Let's get this beauty started. Let's focus in on what we can control. I can control what I'm doing with my hair. I can control what skincare I do. I can control working out or not working out. Everything else I cannot control this year. And I needed to get into a headspace of positivity in a very negative world. A lot of, lot of things have gone on that have been absolutely devastating. And I can either go down that route and just feed it or I can pivot and I can turn and I can say, you know what, that is going on, but that's not what I'm going to be doing today. I'm gonna to look at myself in the mirror and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna to make today work. And that is why my products are named the way they are before the pandemic. This, is, this has been me showing up for over 10 years in my just space that I love as beauty and fashion and style and acceptance and, and being a woman that does step into her power, your beauty power, how you feel, because how you feel is how you see your life. It's how you represent yourself to the world, to other people, to your spouse, to your children, to your pets. <laughs> I mean, it is it all encompassing on how you just feel and see yourself. And I know makeup and skincare is powerful because we want to feel beautiful. We want to feel relevant. We want to feel all of these things. So today, is going to be not a long YouTube tutorial. This is going to be very simple. Um, I, I feel maybe, maybe not, <laughs> who knows, but I'm going to start off with doing just a very simple exfoliation. I wash my face. I'm going to just use my ever biomedic peel pads. Very simple. It's clean beauty. And this is going to just really prep my skin for the next steps. And it's going to really help. It's helped with my pigmentation and the texture of my skin. That's something that I really love because remember ladies, you can put on a foundation, a BB cream, whatever. If you have texture on your skin, you can't cover that up. You can cover up color, right? If it's purples or if it's blues, grays, but you can't cover up texture. So you wanna work on the texture. That's why exfoliation is so important. So I find these to be really easy. I'll take it on my neck, decollete, et cetera. But today I'm doing my face. So next up, I'm going to do a little combo that I haven't done before. I'm using the Elemis Superfood. This is a glowing priming moisturizer. It has kubacha in it, so it's a really beautiful, look at, you know I love serums, look at this. Nice and thin, I'm gonna do a little glow. And since it doesn't have sunscreen in it, I'm going to add a little bit of my La Roche-Posay Mineral SPF 50. So I'm going to just, add a couple drops of this into my, it was a little bit more than a couple drops, but you get the idea. I'm gonna mix it together and I'm going to apply this. So I'm getting a little bit of a glow, a primer, and also my SPF. So my skin now has this beautiful glow to it. You can see, you can see that glow, which is really nice. So I'm gonna go in with my eye and lip primer. You know, this is my first step that I always do in all of my makeup applications. I want to neutralize out my eyes. They are the skin color. Sometimes they're more red, they look dark. I don't want that. I want them to be lightened up. So from the base of my lashes 
all the way up to my brow bone is going to be my eye and lip primer. Now it is in the lip primer also if you want to prime your lips with it before you do maybe a red or a matte or if you want it to stay longer or maybe you have a lot of pigment in your lips and you wanna neutralize that out before you do your lipstick, you can do that also. So I have a nice primed eye. And also, speaking of priming my lips, I'm gonna go in with my vitamin E. This is a really nice lip treatment because my lips are very dry. So by the time I get to my lipstick, they're going to be hydrated and they've had this treatment on the, my lips for the entire time. And it just feels so comfortable. I don't love having really dry feeling lips. The palette today is called Headstrong. This comes back in in January. That's exactly how I felt I have been in 2020 is Headstrong, like focused, figuring out what are my next steps? How am I gonna stay positive? How am I gonna get myself through this day? Many, many times, ladies, it has not been easy to show up and to work, as we all know. And being headstrong, I just love this palette. I use this on Hillary in my Fierce Aging series. It looked beautiful on her, and she has a lot of freckles and darker skin than I do. So it's a really beautiful, cooler palette. So it's in the gray family, but this deeper color has these beautiful flecks of silver. I just love that it brings the, the eye alive and it's been so popular, um, hence why we're out of it right now. But again, all of the things I'm showing you are coming back in in 2021. So also speaking of 2021, I upgraded my brush kit, which is wonderful because you get nine brushes now. So it does include the foundation buffing brush, which has been really, really popular. Also, what I did was I brightened up the packaging so it's brighter for us in 2021. So when it's on your vanity, you feel a little burst of color when you look at it. And then also I have all the names of the products or all the names of what the brushes do actually on the brush kit itself. So you'll see blush, powder brush, what have you. So it's a very easy way to know you're using the right brush. So I'm gonna go in with the shadow brush. I'm gonna go in with the middle color here. And you're gonna see these are triple milled, nice and silky. This is gonna give you this beautiful wash of color. Build it up or don't build it up, it's up to you. So I'm going to show you how I like to apply the shadow so I have more control. I'm not just putting it everywhere. I want it to look a certain way. So to get that, I basically will load up the brush. I'm pressing it into, on one side, the shadow, okay? I'm gonna go right into the middle of the eye and I'm going to just put the concentration of the powder or the eyeshadow there and then I'm gonna just drag it across. So I can see, oh wow, that looks really beautiful. I don't think I need more. Or, you know what, I think I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back into the palette, start in the middle and keep building up the shadow until I get the intensity that I want. Again, you're gonna see a beautiful sheen on the eyelid. I love the sheen, whether you're 45, whether you're 55, 85, gorgeous. It depends on your comfort level. Some women like to see just mattes on their eyes. I like to see mattes and I also like to see sheen. I love putting sheen on women of age because I think it just makes their eyes come alive. You've seen that on m a lot of my ladies that I do makeup on. I think it just looks so beautiful and refreshed and different. There's no right or wrong. And I just don't like feeling like you feel I, I have to only wear matte because the person at the counter told me that women of age can't wear anything that's, you know, has a sheen to it. I, I've always said this in my videos, it's not glitter and it's not sparkles. It's a sheen, it brings light to the eye, it makes the eye pop and that's what you want. You want your eyes to look refreshed and to be alive and to be sparkly and to just really look pretty. I'm gonna go into the darkest color here and I'm gonna just go into the corner of my my eye here and I'm just gonna build it up this is gonna look really really pretty it's going to be a beautiful beautiful kind of just a little bit of like a charcoal smoky eye now I'm gonna just take a little bit from the brush that's just the extra and I'm gonna go underneath the eye so it has a little bit of dimension underneath, just a little bit of shadowing, not too much. Now you're gonna notice that I use dark colors, right? But I'm not putting heavy makeup on my eyes. I still like that natural, fresh look, but I wanna play with color. I do want, I do want a sexy, you know, little smoky gray charcoal eye to finish off the year, finish off the year strong, headstrong, love it. 
I'm gonna go back in with my shadow brush and I'm going to just go into the lightest color here and I'm just going to marry all the colors together. So it's on the other side of the brush that I use for the middle color, right? So I'm gonna just come up here and I'm gonna just blend it all together. So it really looks like it is one. There's no like color demarcation. You want it to be nice and smooth. A little tip too, ladies, you can take a little bit of the lightest color there that we just did on the brow bone and you can take it in on the inner corner. So you can get, you can lighten that up really nice. Just a little highlight. So you've got the beautiful highlight right in the tear duct area right there. I'm going to take a little alcohol wipe. I like to do this every time that I go in with my mechanical eyelash curler. I'm using Shuamora today. Really love this eyelash curler. If I'm using a mechanical eyelash curler, make sure that I wipe it off from the alcohol because it goes right on my lash line and I don't want to have any of the residual alcohol there, but it's nice to always clean your, anything that goes onto your eyes always. So I'm going to just go to the base of my lashes. I'm going to do this before I do my eyeliner because I don't want to disrupt my eyeliner. So I'm going to give my lashes a little bit of a boost right now. And you're going to see what a difference. So my lashes are straight usually. And then I use my lash curler, which is going to wake up your eyes. It's going to be like, hello, here they are. You can't see them here, but now you can see them on here. A beautiful way to really get the eye open and looking more well rusted. Eyelashes are curled and I'm going to go in now with my ultimate brow and cream eyeliner. This is in black. One of my favorite products to use built in brush. It's angled small. You'll never lose it because it goes right into the top and snaps in. Then you basically open up the eye, <laughs> the eyeliner and you have this beautiful, creamy, long lasting 24 hour stay in four different colors, ash brown, medium brown, dark brown, and black. I love using black when I'm doing an eye like this, when I'm doing grays and charcoals and darker colors. So what I'll do is I will pick up the product. Remember, it's creamy, so you don't wanna go crazy and scoop it up like that. You wanna dot, dot, dab it in to this product, see how much you have on it. I like to just take, I'll take my little palette, and I just go on either side, tap it off, so I have enough product on the brush, but not too much because I want it to be very tight. I want it to look very, define my eyes, but not be overwhelming. And I want to have a lot of control with it, which you do. So I'm going to go right to the base of my lashes and I'm going to just do these little strokes. It is so creamy. It is so smooth. And that is why you want to really make sure it's not too much on the brush. You want to be able to control it. I'm just taking it on my lash line. Look how beautiful, just a little bit. It's so pigmented, it goes a long way. So this is gonna define your eyes. You can smoke this up if you want to. So this is a really good example. So see, I kind of went, my eyelashes got a little kind of stuck in there and it went up a little bit. I could be like, oh, it's not perfect. Okay, don't worry about that. Keep working, keep working, small, small. See how I have a little, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, right? So now I can go back with the smudge brush, any brush that's short and it has those bristles. So it's going to be able to smudge up this line. So we can soften the line and, you know, I like to call this my little eraser. It's going to erase any mistakes. So it looks like you just applied your eyeliner perfectly. So I just literally buffed out any like ups and downs. So if you have shaky hands or if you really can't see, just get it so you have it on top of the line go back with your eraser and just erase it just like this. You're really not erasing it, you're just smudging it up and it's looking gorgeous and it looks like you are a pro makeup artist every time when you apply your eyeliner. So I'm just gonna take a little bit underneath the eye also and I'm gonna, I just smudged it up a little bit on both eyes. Now, what's really, really great about this is that there's no foundation, no concealer, no nothing on. Remember, stick back this little brush. Once you clean it off in the top, and snap it so it stays and it doesn't dry out in this little pot by twisting it really tight. So now I wanna show you that nothing's on my, my skin. So I can take my Almay pad that's oil-free, take one of these little pads, and I'm gonna clean up anything that fell underneath my eye area, right? So clean up just like this. Straight up, you're gonna see everything that will basically be cleaned up. So I can make sure that I have a really nice, beautiful canvas 
for my foundation, for my eye brightener, for all of these different things that I'm going to use. So I love that. I love that I can clean up all of this. There's nothing on my skin and I have a perfect, perfect canvas. So I'm going to just do my mascara before I go in and do any of my skincare, as in foundation or concealer, etc. This is my Chanel. I go back and forth between my line and this Chanel mascara. I really love this wand also. Just depends on my mood and what I want to do. But I really love getting to the base and giving that beautiful fringe. Now today I've decided that I'm going to add on my favorite lashes my Ardell 420s Naked Lashes. They come now in a pack like this. Very exciting. So I'm going to just bring up the level just a little bit. I haven't done lashes in a while on myself with you, so we're gonna do that. You know I love these. So this is what they look like. Now they come in an actual pack. So this is four of them in here. I'm so happy. These are the 420s, like I had just mentioned because I'm so excited about them. I love these. I put these on, oh my gosh. I put these on um, Janet. She was, I forget, Janet was in her 80s. They looked absolutely gorgeous. They popped her eyes. I put these on everyone. They are so natural, so beautiful, hence the fact that they're called naked, right? So I just use the eye duo. This is the dark. Um, it's just a very simple uh, latex glue. If you are allergic to latex, they do have latex free. And I'm going to just pop these on my eyes and they're going to just look absolutely, it's just gonna, it's gonna end our year on the right note. So these are the most beautiful lashes, so inexpensive and they look so natural and they don't feel like you're wearing anything. They are my favorites. And so I wanna just kind of shape up my brows a little bit um, with my medium brow, skinny brow pencil. I'm just gonna fill in any holes that I see, which I do have. I have one like right in here. I'm gonna just use the medium brown throughout the whole brow and I'm just gonna give little wispy strokes. So it's not adding a lot of weight to my brows, but it's just kind of giving it a little bit more shape and filling in those holes. I'm gonna just take a little brow fix and go into my brow. This is gonna keep my brows up all day long and it's also gonna cover the gray. So this is a new color for my line called Chocolate. So we have blonde, we have brunette, dark brunette, and clear. Now I have chocolate because I felt like we were missing. We had like a little get a bit of a gap between blonde and brunette. So what happens if you fell in between, right? So this is a really great product that gives you just an extra something that you need. You don't even need to use a brow pencil. You can just use the brow fix. And then we're gonna go now into our gorgeous skin. I am going to take a little bit of my concealer trio. This is in Buff Cool. This is going to be great because I'm going to just give myself a little bit more coverage. You can see on camera where my little weak spots are here with this pigmentation. So I'm gonna just be, I want a little bit of extra cover here and then I'm gonna use my eye brightener over. So what I like about this is I can just go in with my fingers, I can customize my color that I want for my skin that day. Some days I might just use one of the colors, some days I might use all of the colors, some days I might use the darkest and create more of a contour. So you can see, I'm just kind of giving a little bit of coverage, not too much. I don't need too much right now. I'm gonna go back in with my eye brightener. This is a click up pen, so I'm going to click it up. This is a nice touch up veil. This is going to be nice and color correcting. You can see it's a little peachy. I'm gonna use this on my skin. So I want this area to be bright. I want it to look beautiful. I want it to look flawless. I want it to look seamless. I don't want it to look cakey. And all of those things, it won't be because this is just, you can see, it melts into my skin, brightens my skin, hydrates my skin. It's not dry. It's not going to weight, give you that weight look. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm going to buff it into, this is my foundation buffing brush. I'm gonna buff it into the skin. So I want my skin to look authentic. I want it to look like real skin. I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be, looking mattified or cakey or just too much. So you can see it brightened up that area on my face. Really looks beautiful. I decided to go in with my Chanel foundation. I did a huge review on my foundations recently that were great for mature skin. And I found this one to be really, really beautiful. And I like to apply it with my fingers. I don't need that much. This might be a little bit too much, but 
I'm going to show you when it goes on the skin, it literally also just like melts into my skin and evens out my tone. Yes, it is a little bit more on the pricier side. I like what it does to my skin. I show up in the morning, my day, my evening, feeling confident, feeling beautiful, feeling like my skin really does a nice representation <laughs> when I walk into anywhere or I'm just looking at myself in the mirror. This to me is to completely worth it. So I do take this down on my jaw and neckline here. The reason why I don't use my buffing brush is that I feel like the consistency of this foundation is very, very thin. So I don't want to soak anything up and then basically have to use more. So I really like using my fingers for this foundation because I really can see it. I can feel it. I can see where it's going. And it's really a beautiful, beautiful way to apply this foundation without using brushes. We are going into Mood Changer, which is my blush palette. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's exactly what I had to do this entire year was change my mood, okay? <laughs> Wake up, not in a great mood because watch the news or heard more stories or what have you. I had to keep changing my mood and this is why I launched this in the fall. Mood changer, add color, add brightness, add a bright spot in your day, whatever that is. Maybe it's getting a coffee or a tea. Maybe it's having a chat with a friend or sending a card to somebody, which is so vintage now of actually writing a card and putting a stamp on it and putting it in the mail. One of my favorite things to do, I actually just ordered um, some new customized stationery that came. It's absolutely beautiful, with peonies and pink, and it makes me feel good. And I know when the person gets it, that makes them feel good also. So I'm going to just take the two here um, for, my, for my blush, and then I'm going to just pop it with that beautiful bright rose color that I really do love. Now, again, I have a darker eye, so I don't wanna go too crazy. I wanna buff this into my skin. So I, I'm giving that that pretty flush look to my skin, but I'm not overdoing it. Again, I can bring it up a little bit to blending it in on my cheek. I just really want beautiful color. I want it to be soft. These are also triple milled, so they're going to go on the skin like silk, and they're not going to be weighted down. They're not going to be heavy. They're not gonna be extra powdery. Very, very pretty and very soft. Blush is done look is coming together. Now we're on my favorite part is the lips. So I like to keep in my lipstick case that I came out with, this was really for holiday, but this has been so popular ladies. I wanted to show it again because you all have been telling me on emails and DMs how valuable this has been for holding your lipsticks because I had shared mine were all over my purse and it was very frustrating. I could never find the color I wanted. So now this holds three lipsticks. Usually I will put my vitamin E and then the color that I'm wearing for that day or that week in here. And I has a mirror and I never have to worry about where is my lipstick. So this is a new lipstick color for 2021. You're going to love the name. And I have a new waterproof lip liner in the color Honey Bun. So the color, this beautiful, beautiful neutral is called Figure It Out. And I'm gonna tell you the story behind that while I do my lips. So basically I used to complain a lot go figure. I used to complain a lot to my husband about just my business and videos and this and that. And I would always just keep saying, you know, oh, this or that or what, you know, I can't do this or I couldn't. He would be like, figure it out. And I thought it was so like insensitive, like figure it out. Like I'm trying to figure it out. But really, I wasn't. I was just complaining. And I was just kind of getting deep down into that self-pity of, you know, like, oh, I can. Or I was like acting like what he's like, likes to say is a damsel. And I was, you know, and it took me a while to really own up to that and to really realize that. And so he constantly would say, figure it out, figure it out. And I was like, that is the most annoying thing that he can say. And it would, and it really pushed me to figure it out. So I figured out everything. When I started to complain, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm getting really tired of, of, of doing that, right? So I was like, let me figure it out. Let me figure it out. I'm gonna figure this out. So that is all about 2020 and going into 2021. You have figured it out. You are figuring it out. We are pivoting. We are doing things different. So the next time you get into a little pinch or, or you find yourself complaining, be like, you know what? I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to figure out the research. There's so much available to us ladies that we can figure anything out. So that is basically the story behind the, the lip color, which I really love. I'm waiting until you see it.
So there it is. This is like the, uh, I have to tell you, I'm so in love with this color and it's a creamy high gloss lipstick. It is absolutely beautiful. And you know that no lip look would be the complete without my little champs, which is short for champagne. Cause anytime you top anything with a little champagne on a cocktail, it is so perfect. So I'm going to just add a little champs to my figure it out and look how gorgeous a little bit of that high gloss. So I just added a little bit of the champs over my lips. Absolutely beautiful. This is such a sophisticated, very polished, pulled together look, but little effort, right? But I just love the fact that when this is what I want to kind of kind of give you come into my world of how I think and how this really works for me when it comes to my makeup. When I'm having, you know, not feeling that great or I want to feel better, this is what I do. Really, I focus in on, you know, the eyeshadow palette. It it's so beautiful, right? Headstrong. And I think about how I've been headstrong getting through certain things, right? Mood changer. I needed some bright, beautiful color. I need to change my mood and I have to really concentrate on that. That is not easy to do, ladies. It's so much easier to be negative or to be down on the dumps or be have self-pity, all these things. So then I go into my lips. I'm final, you know, I'm finalizing my look. I'm seeing my look come together. This is me in the vanity, right? This is me in the morning or at night or if I'm going somewhere. And then I'm putting on my, my lipstick, figure it out. And it reminds me that I have to figure things out. I have the power. That's why I always say, step into your power, ladies. It's not about anybody else. It's not about anyone else figuring it out for you. You have to figure it out for yourself. And I've had to do that. I've had to kick myself out of the self-pity, the pity party. Oh, look, you know, and then, and then it's a very bad spiral. If you don't recognize it, be self-aware and say, you know what? No, I'm not doing that today. I'm tired of that. That's the old me. I'm moving into a new year, a new fresh outlook, a new way that I can get to the spot that I want to be. Where do you want to be? Focus in on that, right? It's not even about, it's not about me pushing my cosmetics. I have my cosmetics line because I am so passionate about makeup and always have been. I mean, this is my history, a professional makeup artist, 96, licensed esthetician, 2000. I live and breathe makeup, skincare, helping women, always have. I love working with women. You can see that. You can see that on my first aging. I wouldn't have never started that if I didn't love helping women feel better about themselves. And you know, this is, this is really my ministry. This is what I love to do. I love connecting with you. I love having you go from a space of, I, I, I have never even worn makeup, Nicole. And then I tried a couple things and I feel amazing. You can buy makeup at the drugstore. A lot of women say, oh, this is an advertisement for your company. I am a brand. This is my company. I am here to, to inspire. You don't have to buy my product. You have to just feel good about yourself and whatever you buy, in whatever you research, I'm just here as a vehicle. I've always said that, ladies. I'm here as a vehicle to show you what I use, why I've created certain things, makeup and, and, and the names of things to empower you because it's all about how you feel about yourself. It starts with you. And I'm so, so strong about that. And I, I just want this, this this coming to the end of the year for you to feel so good about yourself, so good about your skin. We've worked so hard this year on escaping and going into different aspects of makeup and taking a little trip and figuring out how I want to feel or how we want to want to do something or how we want to, to show up, whether it's just a lip gloss or it's just concentrating on our skincare. I've had such a good time with you this year, ladies. We really worked hard. We, we, we had such a great time on Zoom and every aspect of what we did this year. And I'm just looking so forward to 2021. I hope you have an amazing holiday, an amazing new year. Stay safe. And until my next video and until next year, I'll see you later.